Hello and welcome back to part 4 of the Greek Cities Campaign in Rome Remastered. So let's begin by taking this settlement from Pontus. Uh, in the previous three parts so far, what we did is we have invaded parts of Italy and we have defended against attacks from Carthage and Macedon, along with Pontus. And now we are sending armies to push them back after all that they've done to us. So right now we're taking a settlement of Pontus after they besieged ours multiple times. And I believe we also have a settlement of Carthage under siege right now, which we are going to take very soon. Uh, this should be a relatively easy battle because Pontus is a very weak faction. Uh, and although the Greeks are very vulnerable with their main strength coming from just large numbers of infantry, so that means we don't have a lot of cavalry to recruit, which could be useful. And I am not very good with using archers, so that's why all of the armies are just pretty much all infantry forces. And But this is also a great strength, because as you can see, they have these long spears, which are able to push back enemy forces with relative ease. So I'm going to have the more elite units... Uh, stand towards the front. It's fine if we get shot at. Alright, the gate is down. We can start moving forward. Alright, let's get out of the way there. And now, my biggest concern is just going to be flanking, because if we can take them he head on, then our troops should have next to no trouble with taking them out. But if we are flanked, then it might go differently. Ah, oh, see, there we go. They're trying to flank us. And there's cavalry coming in as well, so we gotta be real careful about how we do this next part. Because if we're not careful, that cavalry could hit us right in the side and be very damaging. Let's run up to here, just so we can get these guys in faster. Want to save as many lives as possible. Alright, let's go in. Their infantry is routing. We can now focus on that cavalry unit. Luckily, this is just light. Oh, it's not light cavalry. Huh. Well, either way, we're still very easily dealing with it. I'm very happy about this because if you've seen the previous parts, the Roman cavalry has been absolutely destroying our forces. So, having this relative ease with taking out these cavalry units is something very pleasing. But we're still taking quite the casualties. Oh good, the enemy king is dead. It's very good for us. For this entire war. Alright, let's make the... final push... for the center of the town. And here we go. Unfortunately, we're just gonna have to sit there and just take all the shots they're shooting. Because we can't really react to it in any way without a powerful cavalry force or our own missile units. We're just stuck with marching forward and hoping we get there in time to stop them from doing too much. Alright, they're going down quite quickly, which is nice. I'm going to speed up the time here a bit. 
take out that unit. I'm gonna try and focus on taking one unit at a time so we're just not overwhelmed or surrounded by them. And there we go. We are fighting for the center. This unit is taking quite the beating. Let's have them pull out. And then have everybody else focus on taking this part. And that is victory. Uh, still quite a few casualties. And I think that seeing how weak their force is, that would have been... That could have been lower. But we still took the settlement and all of our units are still alive. It's just going to be a little bit of a single turn retraining them if we have the correct barracks. Which we do, for at least these weaker units. Alright. So that's the end of our turn in that part of the world. Uh, now, this army, I'm going to start sending it towards the Broody. I just to finally finish them off. Uh, but first, I'm just going to have them garrison here. Just so we can retrain them. So we don't go with a wounded army to go and fight someone. And I'm going to scare away these Macedonians. Looks like we're going to have to fight them. An easy victory. With pretty much next to no casualties. And then my whole goal is just to keep the Macedonians at bay until we can finally destroy this army because although it is relatively weak, they would be reinforced by the settlement if we were to attack them. So we have to be careful of that. All right, now let's take care of Carthage here. Now, I wanted peace with Carthage. I was willing to let them stay on this little island of ours for a little longer, but they decided to attack us while we were busy taking Rome. So here we are invading their land and soon we are planning to invade Carthage itself. All right, I'm gonna have the Strongest units going through the gate while the we weaker ones going through the wall, which we will be opening up. Alright, we can speed up the time and wait for our troops to break through. This is all just light infantry and a little bit of cavalry, so our elite infantry should have no trouble with it. I'm going to start moving up the infantry so we can be as close as possible for when the gate is open, and there it is. Now I'm going to spread out their formation and have them go out and begin the attack. Right now, how close is this wall? Almost there. All right, good to know. Alright, let's take out that cavalry. And luckily it's just light cavalry. And the battle has begun for the gates. But as you can see, our elite infantry is able to easily destroy their light cavalry and infantry. Alright, I've got to run into that place right away. I need to assist with flanking right away because these guys are going to start taking a beating if we're not able to help them out. Uh, there we go, now we can start focusing on the left side there. These guys have arrived, let us 
Hit them right in the back. Hopefully we can take out their general soon. This will speed up the whole battle. And there we go. And as you can see we are blocking their retreat so we can pretty much just kill all of them. Uh, unfortunately we did lose a few men here and there but we were heavily outnumbered and I think that went almost as good as it could have gone. There we go, we got all of them. Now it's just a matter of cleaning up the remaining units. And since this is just light infantry, we'll have no problem dealing with them. Come on, we can't have one unit doing all the work. Although it seems they can do it if we need them to. Alright, I'm gonna wait here for reinforcements. For them to arrive and assist with taking the center itself. Because although we could probably very easily do it with a single unit. I just want to minimize casualties here. Which will of course be done by mindlessly charging right through the center of the enemy position. But because we have very strong units and they have very weak units, it's effective. Alright, so now it's going to be time to take care of a larger threat because, as you may remember from part 3, the Julii have arrived up here in the north and we can see at least two armies coming down our way. And we don't want that. So we're going to need to do something about them. We can start off by retraining all of our troops and then once they're selected we can begin recruiting uh, very elite troops uh, and we're just gonna try and send as many units as we can to Rome itself and we'll just try to stay there and hold for as long as we can until reinforcements can arrive and those reinforcements will be recruited right now. I should get the tax rate up whenever I can and wherever I can. Because taking Rome was a big economic boost. But of course, every place needs to pull its weight. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I think I'll also... Start building troops down here. Alright, well this army is next to ready to go to Carthage, so as soon as I find where our fleet is, I'm gonna have them scout at Carthage by swimming by and then turning back and picking up our soldiers. Who will be further reinforced by stronger units. I might as well send a diplomat with them to scout for us. Alright, let's end the turn. Let us end the bloodshed. Uh, we won't do that. They started attacking us and now we're going to bring the fight to them. Ooh, this is good. The It's not good that there's three armies there now. But what's good is that they've separated, so we'll be able to take one of them out right now. And then turn back, retrain our troops, and be ready to hold out further. Very, very good. Okay. 
You know what, we're not even gonna scout ahead, I'm just gonna go right away. And we got a new general, so it's all coming together. Alright. And Carthage is very weak, perfect, it will be ready for our conquering. Uh, now these units that I started recruiting, we're gonna prepare them to send them north to aid in the Italian conquest. Mobilizing all the units right away. We need, seeing how many forces there are and how much we've struggled with smaller forces, we're gonna need all this help. Alright, let's march out against them. Here we go. So um, my only concern is that this army has a lot of Hastadi, and Hastadi are highly effective infantry troops. Luckily they don't have, they have next to no cavalry supporting them, which means they will be very vulnerable to flanking, and we won't really have to worry about that as much. Alright, it's good. This is good. Yeah. The reason I'm putting the strongest units on the outside of the formation is just so that we can flank, break their corners, and then surround them. But as you can see, we already outflank them. Which means that we can... We have more troops than they do, so we can spread out further and easily surround them while they will have to stretch out very thin to try and match us. What unit is that? Okay, they have 10 units of infantry. One of them is very weak, Town Watch. And then... Okay, we have 18 troops, not including our commander, which means that we can pretty much send two units on one of theirs without any trouble, which is perfect. Their very strong troops will be ineffective when they're surrounded. Alright, I'm going to start closing in on the position here. Starting to encircle them. <laughs> Very slowly, but we'll get there. I'm just not sure what range they have, how close we can get to shoot before they shoot us. Not sure how this is going to go down because as long as we don't get flanked, our troops should be able to hold. It's just. There's a lot of them. Alright, here we go. We are getting ready to engage. I'm doing this... I could just make one big row, but... really want to get in close. Personally setting each unit's position. Uh, but I guess we don't need to do that, really. We can send them all in. And they have charged out. This is surprising a bit. Let's see, where are they gonna go? What are they going to do? Oh, 
Oh, there we go. One unit is routing. Uh, but it's, of course, their weakest unit. I guess they are smart enough not to send their strongest units head on with us. And we don't have any cavalry to chase them down, so this is just how we're gonna do it. Alright. Come on. This is a bit messy how we're doing it, but if it works, it works. Alright, let's keep flanking and breaking them. And they have begun withdrawing? Yes, they have. Alright, let's chase them down. I doubt we'll chase down many of them since it's just infantry going after infantry, but let's see what we can do. There we go, that's right. And victory is ours. With very few casualties. But unfortunately, we didn't chase down their units, so they can just go back, retrain them, and go as if nothing had happened. And from what I can see, there's going to be cavalry coming up. And cavalry is not fun to mess around with if it's going against you. Right, I'm going to send this very weak unit so they can actually be useful now. We can retrain them, and they'll be able to fight for our cause. And while we're at it, why not train a new unit? I want to make sure I retrain as many soldiers as I can. And that we're still recruiting and sending them forth. I want to go after this settlement very soon, but first we're going to have to eliminate the armies around it that could threaten our garrisons. Although that's a pretty much all infantry force, it could still do damage, as we've been doing with our all infantry forces. Alright, so I'm going to send this army to try and take out the Broody Eye very soon. Uh, now let's just work on some construction, because... That is the one thing I've been avoiding. And it's just one of the things we need going on. It will boost the economy. It will allow better troops to be trained. And it's just a good choice all around. Now I want to start building stables so we can get chasing down the enemy better. Oh, the Broody Eye and Carthage are at a ceasefire. Alright, let's end the turn there. And it seems the Romans are unwilling to come after us. That's fine. You want to stay back, then stay back. They didn't initiate the war. They were just kind of forced to join it. Ready to sail. Set sail. I forgot to take the diplomat, but that's fine. Now I'm not getting on the ship just yet, because we could always be attacked at the last second. So until I can get there, we're going to stay back. Alright, now I'm going to start sending the weaker units back to Capua 
and having the stronger ones take their place. Uh, this is just so we can build up a very strong force and actually have two armies. One defending Rome and another that's going to be able to march out. Alright, this is a very weak garrison and if this is their... And if that is their last settlement, then it's a very weak last stand. It's not a good settlement to go after. No, it is not. We are not at war with the Seleucids, and I don't want to be. So let's avoid that if possible. All right, let's end the turn there. Oh no, I, that's not fun. Okay. Ah, uh, see? That's why I didn't put the man on there. Just in case that would happen. That could have happened and it did happen. Alright, well, since we're there, we might as well do something to him. I think I could have taken fewer casualties, but... It's fine. Recruit another unit just for uh, yes. defensive purposes. Alright, this is starting to be a pretty powerful army. Now Carthage is besieged. Oh, they have elephants. Okay. Well, that's going to be interesting. And they have Libyan spearmen. Okay. Great. Right. No, I'm not risking that. The ships are... You know what? Let's risk it. We're going to go with them on board. Oh, and that's where this army went. Not really surprised by it. I was expecting them to go in that direction. Alright, now we got our recruit troops back here. Which is a waste of money, really, but it's just something we gotta do. And Pontus is sending another army. That's fine. We'll just deal with it when it arrives. See if we can find a settlement of theirs. They have a lot of armies. I'm guessing they're all going to be very weak. Uh, I guess we should also march out against the Romans. Why give them time to build up an army when we could go out and fight them? So that's exactly what we're going to go do. Take three units. We'll send the three units. We're going to send everything we've got at them. That's fine. That's fine as well. It seems that every time I end a turn, we are attacked. Wow. Two armies at once. Okay. Well. I think we should wait for this battle until part 5. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you watch part 5 where we will take on this army of the Julii. And we will break free from Pontus, take Carthage, and further hurt the Macedonians. Thank you for watching and I hope you watch again next time. Have a good day.